One dog getting a new leash on life. At his heaviest, Obi, a five-year-old dachshund, weighed a whopping 77 pounds. That's twice the normal size, but thanks to Obi's new owner, or foster parent, he's going on a strict diet. Nora Venetta is Obi's adopted mom. She's here along with Dr. Andrew Kaplan, City Veterinary Care and founder of the Toby Project. Good to all, good day to all of you guys. Thank you. So when you heard about Toby, and, uh, with Obi, and you just, <laughs> Toby, Obi, when you heard about Obi, <laughs> And he actually showed up. Had you ever, did, did it match what you were expecting? No. I mean, he was bigger than I had than no you. idea. When you heard about a 77-pound dachshund. Right. They estimated he was 70. And I thought, I hadn't seen a picture. And I thought, well, he maybe we're expecting a basset hound here. And there's no way he could possibly weigh 70 pounds. And I saw him. And he really is a purebred dachshund. Mm -hmm. And I took him to the vet the next day. And he weighed in at 77. So, so Dr. Kaplan, is, uh, I assume this is the biggest dachshund you've ever seen. Uh, no doubt this is the biggest dachshund I've ever seen. I, I mean, is this, is he healthy? I mean, what are the dangers of a, for a dog weighing this much? Uh, you would think, if you're thinking about people, uh, that being overweight could lead to things like atherosclerosis and heart attacks and hypertension. But dogs aren't at risk for these things for being overweight. For dogs, it's orthopedic mostly. Mm -hmm. So a dachshund is, is uh, most people know, are predisposed to slip discs and uh, orthopedic problems. Mm -hmm. And so that's really what most of his risk is. This could just exacerbate yeah, that. I mean, this kind of weight is going gonna, is gonna to wreak havoc on his joints. So, Nora, what are you doing to get Obi more fit? What we, kind of diet is he on? We are just putting him on a high-protein, high-fiber, low-energy diet. Mm -hmm. And he's able to eat, we estimate, we're feeding him about two cups a day. And, and, and what kind of exercise? His only exercise right now is going from house to outside to go potty, mm -hmm. into house. He moves around on his own, and that's his only exercise for now. And is he's that, moving better every day. Is that a good plan, Doc? Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, high-protein diets and, and low-fat diets in dogs work just like they do in people. Mm -hmm. Um, and the fiber helps burn calories, and it helps uh, reduce appetite as well. Now, according to the Association for Pet Obesity and Prevention, 53% of adult dogs, 55% of adult cats are overweight. Is this an epidemic we're seeing not only in the human population, but in our pet population as well? Absolutely. Absolutely. People have good intentions, and they feed their dogs, I think, what they think they're supposed to feed them, mm -hmm. but it's the treats. Yeah. I find it's the treats and it's the binge, just like people, it's yeah. the binge eating. Is there, eating a, correl meals. Is there yeah. a correlation between overweight uh, pet owners and overweight pets? Yeah, I don't know if there's been a study done to look at that, but in my clinical practice, yes. Mm -hmm. I see a lot of dogs who are overweight and their owners tend to be overweight as well. So, so Nora, how long do you think it's going to take Obi to get uh, back to his fighting weight? It could take about a year. Mm -hmm. um, our goal is 1% weight loss a week. So far he's lost about 2 pounds a week, which is perfect. Good. All right. So, so, you, so once he loses the weight, he'll have a, have a healthy, normal yeah. life. Yeah, he should. All Absolutely. Right. Well, He's Nora, very happy. He, he, are you happy, Toby? He's Obi? very happy. He yeah. grins. All right. <laughs> okay, bud. <laughs>